Hey everyone, welcome to this exciting tutorial on how to create your very own free Windows 10 RDP using GitHub and the GetScreen method. Trust me, we're about to embark on a journey that will have you setting up your RDP in no time. Introduction Before we dive in, let's make sure we're all on the same page. We'll keep things super simple and easy to follow, even if you're new to this. If you don't have a GitHub account yet, don't sweat it. I've got you covered. Check out the quick video on creating a GitHub account in the description. It'll only take about three minutes and you'll be all set. GetScreen account. All right, now that we've got GitHub sorted, let's tackle GetScreen. Creating an account there is a breeze, and I'll show you how. It'll take literally one second. After account created, just copy your GetScreen email. Easy as pie. Download GitHub Workflow. High five, you've got your accounts ready. Now let's get that GitHub Workflow. In the description, you'll find links to different mirrors. It's like having backup plans just in case a server decides to take a break. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot to mention these are mirror links. If you're unsure about mirror links, no worries. I'll guide you how to complete it. But you're smart. You'll figure it out. Getting started. All right, folks, time to put all the pieces together. You've got your GitHub account, your shiny new GetScreen account, and that GitHub workflow. Ready? Let's roll. Tutorial walkthrough. Head over to GitHub, create a new public repo, and click that Upload Files button. Now, remember that workflow file you downloaded? Extract, drag, and drop those files like a boss. And if you're on your phone, don't worry. I'll guide you through it. Adding workflow files. Upload that readme.md file first. Then create a new file and type in .github workflows test. Commit those changes and add two workflow files. You got this? Running the workflow. Woohoo! Now comes the fun part. Click on the Actions tab, pick one of those workflows, and hit Run Workflow. 
If you don't see your run, just give it a quick refresh. Click on the workflow run, hit build now, and patience, my friend. Get screen and connect. Once the workflow is done, check get screen. You'll see your RDP with a cheerful green dot. Green means go, right? Click that connect button and get ready to meet your RDP buddy. Runner admin, here we come. Speed test and conclusion. Now, just to keep things snappy, let's run a quick speed test. After all, you deserve a zippy RDP experience. And there you have it, your very own Windows 10 RDP all set and ready to roll. Final thoughts. As we wrap things up, a quick word of wisdom. If the first run doesn't quite get you an RDP, don't stress. Try running another workflow. It's like a second chance at RDP happiness. And remember, use this method with a bit of moderation or it might bid us farewell sooner than we'd like. Connect with us. If you're hungry for more solutions, have a fresh idea, or just want to chat about all things RDP, hop onto my Telegram channel. And if you're ready to dive deep, join the discussion group. Let's brainstorm. Thanks for hanging out with me and happy RDPing. Remember, even tech adventures can be fun and easy. Smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Stay tech savvy. Stay awesome.